All right, Joshua Bovere joins us today. Power slap number nine going up against Dakota McGregor in the newly formed lightweight division. How you doing, my man? I'm doing awesome, man. How are you? Really good. We just got the ranking update out. You're debuting at number two, Dakota at number three. How good does it feel to finally see your name on that rank and in the position just below coach from season three, Robert Trujillo? It feels amazing, honestly. It's um, it's different to have a number beside your name now, right? So you have you have a little more drive behind you because now Dakota's coming for my number two spot, and that's not something I'm willing to give up. So yeah, it's definitely light a little fire under me, and I'm I'm super excited for the, the upcoming match. Does it just reassure you once again of what the Brass of Power Slap think of you to rank you as high as they did um, amongst the guys in that tournament? Yeah, hundred um, percent. I did. Th it was, I did think it was going to be a toss up between me and Dakota for sure. He 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 did an amazing job on the show as well. I think it came down to um, you know the reactions of the slap. Um, I think that's ultimately what came down to uh, me taking in the number two over him. Awesome. I mean, I'm sure you knew this for a long time. There's rumors swirling that you even did a face off before you guys left the filming. How excited are you now that it's published? It's out there. Now your family and friends can, you know, message you and you can actually talk about it. The muzzle is off as it, cause it kind of cemented now that this is really happening. Yeah. hundred percent. Me and Dakota both knew um, after we left Vegas in May that the next match is going to be me and him. Um, so yeah, like we had months to prepare for it and I honestly had yeah, months to, you know, kind of keep our mouth quiet, but yeah, now it's like, it's surreal and it's, it's happening. And like you said, the rankings are up. Everything's kind of happening very fast right now and it's coming together for sure. Absolutely, dude. Um, you know, the rankings are out. Dakota, another fellow Canadian. Talk to me about that. Canadians making some waves. They've had some really good records on the show. Now it comes to a live event. Are you going to represent Canada proud and show up with all that audience there in attendance? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm I'm actually, it's, I think it's sick that it's me and Dakota. Um, when I, I first showed up, um, I, I, I we realized that we we're both Canadian and like the thought was completely out of my mind that me and him would be matched up in the tournament just because two Canadians like, you know, like let's mix it up a little bit. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited and I, I'm, I'm sure that me and Dakota are going to be um, bearing the Canadian flag when we go up there. Um, and at the end of the day, a Canadian has to win. So I'm, I'm pumped for that as well. No matter what, a Canadian's going to win on uh, yeah. October 24th. Absolutely, dude. Um, you know, talk to me about what you are doing every single day from now until the fight to be your best. For sure. Yeah. Like, um, like I said, I've had, I've had four months to prepare for this, this match. Um, I didn't know the date obviously four months ago, but I, I knew I needed to stay ready. So yeah, like I, I've just been dialed in. I'm watching what I eat. I've been consistent in the gym. I, I have a Bob as well. So I've been uh, practicing on that. And yeah, I'm just fine tuning everything. I'm um, getting ready for October 24th. You know, you're going to go over to Abu Dhabi. You know, I'm, obviously you've probably never been to that part of the world. I don't know if you even considered it. Have you thought about the time change, the cultural difference, the food, all of that stuff that could ultimately affect the outcome and the performance that you have? Have you, you know, started to wrap your head around mentally about undertaking that? A hundred percent. And I think it's perfect that my, my opponent's coming from the same place in the world as I am because just like a weight cut, we have to stay, we have to make 155. We're going to be on the same flight. We're going to have the same time difference. So we're all going to have to adapt to that. So it's going to be even between both of us. But 100%, that's in the back of my mind. There's so many different things that could happen. You know, got to watch what you eat there. That's completely different food, right? Um, this, I've never, this is my second time on a plane and it's a 14 hour flight. So I've never, you know, really experienced like jet lag, true jet lag. So that's going to be something that I need to, you know, research and kind of make sure that it doesn't affect me going into the fight week. For sure. How are you sitting on weight right now? Where are you kind of walking around? Uh, right now I'm sitting at around 164. Okay. Uh, so I'm just kind of chilling around here right now. I'm going to start picking up the cardio a little bit soon and uh, try to be in a good position going there. I did have a, a pretty rough weight cut in the, the second match. Um, it was pretty tough for me, so I don't want to really experience anything like that, especially um, overseas and with all mm -hmm. those other contributing factors. 
Yeah. I mean, 14 hour flight, you know, people do bloat and retain water when flying as well. So keep that in mind. You know, probably the ideally point for you is probably 160, my man. If you can be on 160 before you get on that flight, you'll be within striking distance. Um, you know, on our show, we talk a lot about weight cuts and power slap and how they can be detrimental. So, I mean, you still got time. I know you're going to do it. You're a true professional. You're going to put in the work, time, energy, and effort to be there and be ready to show up. If uh, Dakota's watching this, what do you want to say to him? I'm number two. You're number three. You're going to have to prove that you're better than me on October 24th. Short and sweet, my man. That's all it is. I'm a humble guy. Awesome. Do one last one for you. Where can people follow you on social leading into this match? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram, uh, Boisvert underscore at Josh. I'm also on uh, Snapchat, Black Josh 12 And that's about it right now. Our TikTok as well, Fresh Prince. Awesome, my man. Appreciate you. Look forward to seeing you there live. In Abu Dhabi, as you know, we'll be there at the weigh-ins. We'll be there at the fights. We'll be there in the post-fight press conference. Take care, my man. We'll talk soon. Perfect. Can't, can't wait to see you, brother.